Hello everyone, this is Michelle. I am back with another video. So uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed but want to subscribe, you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through Velispo number uh, 21 through 25. Um, I um, so uh, all these videos, as I've mentioned in pre uh, one other video, these are all pre-recorded, so this is a redo of today's video. And then I'll be back on Friday with the final video for this week. So I hope all of you are having a great, um, a great uh, January, and I hope that uh, all of you are excited about the... Um, inauguration next week. I know I am. Um, I don't know if I will be uh, watching it or how they're going to enable people to watch it, uh, but uh, you'll see what happens. All right. So this one will not have the notes. Uh, next week's video will have the notes. The war I remember the first in the world when the gods with spears had smitten Golveg and in the hall of whore and burned her, three times burned and three times born, oft and again, yet ever she lives. He is, they named her, which sought their home, the wide sea in which, in magic wise, mind she bewitched, that were moved by her magic, to evil women a joy she was. Now, I want to say something about the word witch. Um... Now, Snorri is a Christian who is writing down these, um, basically, stories that he has heard. There might have been some remaining people that were pagan or polytheist or whatever that still had this memory of these stories. So, he's writing these down. Now, the author of Author Truth for Beginners, A Modern Heathen's Guide, to the ancient northern way has made it very clear that he was not a defender of paganism. We're talking about Snorri. He was not a defender of paganism. He was a Christian and he had his views about paganism which were not um, nice. But he is credited for writing this down. So On the host his spear did oath and hurl, then in the world did war first come. The wall that girdled the gods was broken, and the fields of the warlike wains were trodden. Then sought the gods their assembly seats, the holy men, holy ones, and council held, whether the gods should tribute give, or to all alike should worship belong. This is really interesting about it, is... Um, and it was from the book uh, *Children of Ash and Oak*. The off the uh, the person that was narrating it was saying that the gods had altars to themselves, so it was weird, but it was interesting at the same time. Then sought the gods in their assembly seats, the holy ones in council held, to find who with venom the air was filled or had given oath and bride to the giant brood. All right. Okay. All right, so that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, as I said, I'll be back on Friday with, with the final video for this week. And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos I have been doing. Um, we are coming upon the second week. I've been doing these videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing them. And so, yeah. So I will see you guys around until next time. May you be happy, healthy, most importantly be safe, and hail to the gods. Bye.